everybody. A uh, short little video today to talk about the TSB that Ford released on the 2020 GT500 uh, to explain why some of these uh, engines have grenaded themselves. Uh, first up, we're going to take a look at the TSB. So this is the TSB. Uh, first page I'm going through here kind of slowly. You can see the uh, dates affected. That's really the important thing here. I've circled in red. These are the dates affected of the builds for GT350s and 500s. The rest of the pages I'm going to scroll through kind of quickly, but uh, feel free to pause. And a shout out to Don, the chairman on 6G, who got this uh, TSB and made it public, as well as uh, Chris20 GT500, who shared it on FordGT500.com. I uh, appreciate getting that information out, guys. Help everybody out. But uh, scrolling through all the pages of the TSB quickly here, and then we're going to show the um, steps to identify whether yours is good or bad. So this is where that starts. Uh, it says to open up your fill port for your oil. And then uh, you got to look down underneath there and you're going to need some sort of mirror or boroscope. And I'm going to show you my solution here in a second. On the left is bad, right is good, right is activated. You see that groove right there? That's what you should see. And this is the rest of the inspection paperwork. I'm just scrolling through kind of quickly, but you can pause it if needed. So going to look in here, I've got a, a borescope that connects uh, wirelessly to my phone or tablet. Uh, the problem is, is that big camera head there does not make that bend uh, well enough. I'm using it just for a light right now because there's a, a light on the end here. Let's see if I can show that right there. Um, but you basically have to get uh, down and around that uh, chain right there. Um, so you got to bend it uh, towards the back side of the car and this is uh, too tight My solution is uh, I went to AutoZone and I got uh, this little mirror telescoping mirror The problem is it was too wide So as you can see there, I've ground the edges flat I took it to my benchtop grinder and uh, ground uh, the sides uh, flat just enough to uh, it's got to be skinny enough to not only fit through that big opening right there at the top, but you can see it steps down uh, there as it goes into the top of the valve cover or cam cover. Um, so it took me a couple tries, but I uh, finally got that uh, skinny enough, but not too skinny. You know, I wanted to still be able to see well, but uh, yeah, we'll take a look. Well, as you can see from mine, I have the groove showing right there that I'm zoomed in on. So mine is good. Well, that's it. Short little video. Uh, you can take your car to the dealership and have them check it out or check it out yourself. Uh, I've run my car balls out at the track. I suspected my car was good, but it's good to get eyes on and actually see it for myself. Mine was good. Hopefully everybody that uh, looks into theirs has a good outcome as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.